Hi there, John McKegg with Royal Page RCR at Alliston uh, Historic Properties. So um, a lot of people fall in love with the idea of living in an older house uh, in a um, sort of the original uh, part of, of a town. And uh, what they need to know is, is that some of these properties are um, registered as historic properties. And what does that uh, mean to people who are purchasing? Well, it can cause uh, some issues if you are thinking about renovating because there may be restrictions on what can be um, renovated or what can be improved upon uh, of the property, what can be torn down. And uh, it can al also get right down to, you know, the types of paints, the colors of paints that you use or the types of trim that you use on a property. So knowing what you are purchasing and knowing that it is a historic property, that's very, very important because if you do have ideas of what you want to do, even, even if you don't, uh, when you first immediately purchase the property, but further down the line, if you decide to make any changes, uh, that could restrict uh, what you can actually do with the property. Historic properties are absolutely wonderful, uh, but you have to understand that there are restrictions on those properties. And from time to time, we run across historic properties, uh, not so much in this area, but uh, I know uh, similar properties like down in Port Hope, for example, is, is that there's uh, the, the, that part of town, the downtown area, a lot of historic properties. And uh, yeah, you just have to be aware of uh, what towns, uh, what areas, um, and uh, specifically the property itself, if it is historic or not. So feel free to give me a call. My name's John McKay, the licensed real estate representative with Royal LePage, RCR and Alliston. I certainly appreciate the opportunity to work with you in 2023. Thanks, bye for now.